given that cosine of theta is negative 2 thirds and theta is greater than pi over 2 and less than pi, find the values of the other trigonometric ratios of theta. So if theta is between pi over 2 and pi, it's going to be in quadrant 2 over here somewhere. Okay, now this lesson is about using trigonometric identities, so that's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to use sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. And I'm using this because I'm given the cosine of theta, and I can easily use this to find the sine of theta. So I'm going to substitute here, sine squared theta plus. Now cosine of theta is negative 2 thirds, so I'm going to put that here. And then squared equals 1. Now it's squared because we have cosine squared. So simplify. So negative 2 thirds times negative 2 thirds is 4 ninths. Now subtract 4 ninths, so sine squared theta equals 5 ninths. Okay, now let's take the square root of both sides. Sine of theta is plus or minus the square root of 5 ninths, which is equal to plus or minus square root of 5 over 3, because the square root of 9 is 3. Okay, now it could be positive or negative. And looking up at the graph quadrant 2 of y and x, the sine value is positive in quadrant 2. So we know that the sine of theta is going to be positive square root of 5 over 3. OK, now we are already given that the cosine of theta is negative 2 thirds. And these are the only two values that we need. Now we can just go ahead and find the rest. Now, I'm going to use the tangent identity because the tangent of theta is sine of theta divided by cosine theta, and we already know both of those. So it's going to be square root of 5 over 3, negative 2 thirds. OK, reciprocal and then multiply, so square root of 5 over 3 times negative of 3 over 2. And the 3's are going to simplify out here. We're going to have negative square root 5 over 2. And that's going to be the tangent of theta. So the cotangent of theta is the reciprocal of tangent of theta. So cotangent theta is going to be the negative of 2 over square root of 5. And we always like to rationalize denominators, so I'm going to multiply by square root of 5 over square root of 5. And that's going to equal to negative 2 square root of 5 over 5. So there's our cotangent of theta. Now the secant of theta is 1 over cosine theta, which is 1 over negative 2 thirds, which is negative 3 over 2. And then the cosecant of theta is the reciprocal of the sine of theta. The sine of theta, we said, was square root of 5 over 3, so the reciprocal is going to be 3 over square root of 5. And multiply by square root of 5 over square root of 5 equals 3 square roots of 5 over 5. OK. So we found the sine of theta is square root of 5 over 3. Tangent of theta is negative square root 5 over 2. Cotangent of theta is negative 2 square root 5 over 5. Secant of theta is negative 3 over 2. Cosecant of theta is 3 square root 5 over 5. OK, so let's review the process. First of all, I determined what quadrant we were in. It's quadrant 2. And I did that based on the domain here of theta pi over 2 to pi. Then because we're given the cosine ratio, I use sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, the Pythagorean identity, and then solve for the sine of theta. Once we knew cosine and sine, I applied the tangent identity because sine divided by cosine is tangent. And then from there, I just did reciprocal identities to figure out cotangent theta, secant theta, cosecant theta.